Hey everybody, you have to excuse me. Um, eating my chocolate covered peanuts. Now, let me get it washed down and all that good stuff. Now, this is what I'm going to call a redneck tech tip. Now, the reason why it's a redneck tech tip is because this will cover pretty much most anybody of an average shade tree mechanic sitting out in their driveway trying to get something done. And this will help you out. This is meant to be funny and be informative all at the same time. So I hope y'all get a good laugh. Now, what you see in my hand here is two all threads. They're about roughly about a foot long. You can buy them at the hardware store like this. <coughs> There's no need to go out and getting that big four foot piece of crap and having to cut it down. This will save you time. Four dollars right here. These two. Here you got going. Okay, cool. What's the all thread for? Well, the all thread is for this. Now, uh, when you go to install a transmission in your driveway, usually you do not have the correct tools to do it. And well, the correct tools being otherwise known as a transmission floor jack. If you're like me, and just about like every other person, I gentleman that's out, lady or gentleman out here, that work on their vehicles and go, oh, sh got a transmission out. I got to replace the damn thing. Well, you're going to go out to your garage and you're going to get your trusty harbor for a three, three ton floor jack, throw a four by four on the top of that sucker. Then you're going to go out to your truck or car and you're going to jack it up and then you're going to pull the transmission out of it. Not a problem. Installation though is a little bit different. It's a little harder, especially when you ain't got no friends and you ain't got no money to buy beer. <laughs> like me. <laughs> anyway, so what you do is you take these two all thread bolts, these two all threads, you put them in the bow holes of your block. Boom, boom, one on each side. So you're sitting there because you know while you're underneath your truck or car, you've got your harbor freight jack out, you got your transmission sitting on that jack and on that 4x4. Four and you're jacking it up and the handle's too long and you know it's too long so you take it out and you take half of it out and you set it down on the ground so now you're jacking in the transmission and the floor jack up with your leg and trying to hold it all up there at the same time and trying to get everything stabbed don't really work that well you should know this that's the aid in that those two all threads what you do is you jack it up you get up there you get it started on those two all threads and then you can take it, take that sucker and slide it forward. Well, once you got it forward, you don't have to do anything. It's there because those two all, all threads are going to line it up for you. So what you do next is, because you know, while you're sitting there and you're jacking it up, and you're til tilting it and hanging on to it because it's heavy. It's 150 pounds, if not more, depending on the vehicle we're talking about. Um, so your torque converter could have slipped out. Now you won't know this unless until after you're, you get it all up there, you get it bolted up and then you notice it don't sink all the way up to the block. So then you've got to unbolt it, drop it down, cussing, griping, moaning the whole way. Wish you had money for beer for your friends to come help you, but you don't. That's why you got these two right here. Right here these are your friends. Because while you're jacking it up and you're putting it on the off thread, yeah, you're going to do some moving. But here's the deal. You got it, but you already got it lined up. So all you got to do is just reach around the front, wiggle your torque converter, make sure it's in, and then gently slide it forward. Because it's going to be lined up. It's already on the off thread. You just slide it up, bolt it up, put your other four bolts on, pull your off thread out, put your other two bolts in, then do your torque converter bolt. It's, you're done. It's good. It's golden. So, there's your red net tech tip for the day. Right here. All three bolts. God bless. Talk to y'all later. Bye.